All right, it is Tuesday, September 17th, 2024. This is John Greenfield from Streets Blog Chicago. I'm gonna do another count of sustainable transportation operators on Augusta Boulevard in West Town. Gonna to count for a solid hour, starting right about now. All right, it's about 4.45. There's one operator two operators, three operators, four operators. We're not going to count the little kid on the back of the tandem bike. Let's just count the the captain of the uh, tandem bike. I will count the non-sustainable transportation users after the fact using the footage. And I will double check the number of sustainable transportation device users since I tend to get those mixed up when I count, but uh, video doesn't lie. All right, so we got four so far. Reminder that the rules are I can count anyone who is legally allowed to be in the protected bike lane. We are not counting pedestrians. I am not counting people riding on the sidewalk or riding the wrong way down a protected bike lane. I am not counting people riding in the mixed traffic lane on bikes or scooters, although that is legal and there are reasons why a person might legitimately want to do that, such as having to pass other vehicles or uh, bad conditions in the bike lane. five and six. So like I said, I started at 445. So this is rush hour for both sustainable and non-sustainable transportation users. Seven, eight. Now, if you're watching this video, you might notice that there's a lot of bike traffic on Milwaukee in here. 9 sustainable transportation user on Augusta. But uh, Milwaukee, which intersects with Augusta here, is nicknamed the Hipster Highway because it is a, the city's highest traffic bike route, other than the Lakefront Trail, the busiest street for biking. Okay, I think we're at 10, but again, I will double check the numbers when I review the footage. Eleven sustainable transportation users.
recently I proposed calling Milwaukee the Pierogi Promenade or Parkway because uh, it passes through a lot of historically Polish American neighborhoods and it's easy to get pierogies along Milwaukee. Okay, I think that was 11, but again, I will double check. But, uh, you know, you could also call it the Taco Trail or the Hiberito Highway because there have also historically been a lot of Mexican-American and Puerto Rican communities along Milwaukee Avenue. All right, let's call this guy 12. Although, again, I will double check the numbers because I don't have the greatest memory in the world. But, uh, again video footage does not lie. All right, there's Lucky 13. We've been going about six minutes now. And most of the bicycle and scooter traffic we're likely to see will be coming from uh, in front of me from the east because people will be coming from downtown jobs. Milwaukee Avenue is a direct route northwest southeast between northwest side neighborhoods and the loop downtown area. and 15 I believe and if you question my story about Milwaukee Avenue going through a lot of historically Polish American neighborhoods. I note that we are standing right by the Polish Roman Catholic Union. Now, there's a lot of bike and scooter traffic here, but it's also worth noting there's a lot of car traffic. And the uh, sustainable transportation traffic comes, as I, as I said earlier, from Milwaukee Avenue, the route from downtown. Um, but the non-sustainable transportation traffic comes from the fact that there is an off-ramp for the Kennedy Expressway um, just east of Milwaukee Avenue. That's that's basically what that road is that says do not enter is, is uh, the end of the off-ramp. So a lot of drivers pour off the Kennedy here. So it's sort of a, a fair place to do it in that way in that there's both a lot of sustainable transportation and a lot of unsustainable trans transportation. So we're at 15 of the former, according to my count. Alright, 
here's someone coming from the west. Scooter rider. So that's 16 sustainable transportation users. Sustainable transportation vehicle operators. It's true that motor vehicles are more likely to carry multiple people than bikes, potentially. But the fact is, if you look at the vehicles in this video, a lot of them are single occupancy, just single people coming from work. Whereas we did see one uh, double occupancy bike, that bike that was a tandem with a, a little kid on the back pedaling. Seventy nine degrees right now, Fahrenheit. All right, I think that puts us at 17. We're about 12 minutes in, a fifth of the way. Not yet 5 p.m. yet. All right, I think that puts us at 19. And in case I didn't say this earlier, I'm going to count all the motor vehicles when I'm reviewing the footage. All right, here comes another scooter rider. Puts us at 20 sustainable transportation vehicle operators. Twenty-one, twenty-two. One thing that's interesting is there are really not very many parked cars here at all. There is exactly one parked car on this block in Milwaukee. Granted, it's a short block. It's just between Milwaukee and the next street, which is, I believe, Noble. It's not a full Chicago block, but still. Okay, I think that's 21.
22. Twenty three, twenty four, And of course, we're not counting high speed gasoline powered scooters. Anything that's going well above 20 miles per hour really shouldn't be in the protected bike lane. So, you know, if we see a hoverboard, one of those electric unicycles, I will count it if they're going at a reasonable speed, but they're clearly going too fast to uh, mix with non-electric vehicles, then I, I won't count them. Okay, I think we're at 22 now, but I may be misremembering that. So again, I will double check the count later.
Okay, I think that's 23 and 24. Maybe I'll move a little closer to Milwaukee now so the viewing audience, whatever there is, will get a little better view of the bike traffic on Milwaukee. Okay, I think this person is 27, 28, 29. Again, forgive me if I'm miscounting, but I will go back and double check them. Okay, I think that's 30, 31. Again, for reasons that I will not discuss here, my memory is not as great as it was uh, pre-April 2023, but uh, I will count the, I will check the footage.
Okay, I think that's 25, 26, but I may be misremembering mis sorry, misremembering it. As I said, I'm not going to count that person using the travel lane, though there's nothing wrong with that. 27. And for the record, the person who was in the travel lane eventually got in the protected bike lane. So let's see there. 28. Had a cabber just went in the, the mixed traffic lane, not gonna count them. 31. mix of don't stop till you get enough. Alright, I think that's 32, but uh, don't quote me on that. I will double check. same number we were at the previous count I did last week, but uh, we were only 29 minutes into it now instead of an hour. That's probably because we're doing it more in rush hour, whereas that one was between 3.30 and 4.30. Thirty-four. So now we have more sustainable transportation users, sustainable transportation device users than we had last time. In less than half the time. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. You know, I gotta say, when uh, e-scooters, electric scooters, first came to Chicago, I was a little skeptical 
of them. Um, but uh, now I think I better understand that they really do a lot to replace car trips. They, they work well for people who uh, are just not interested in riding a non-electric bike. E-bikes have also been helpful that way. You know, I, I like to get exercise when I'm riding a bike, but some people don't want to worry about getting sweaty. In some cases, you can get there faster. All right, I think we're at 38 now, but don't quote me. Well, there are a lot of bicycles parked in Milwaukee now, or waiting for the light in Milwaukee. All right, 40. I guess that thing looked more bicycle-like than motorcycle-like, so, and he wasn't going particularly fast, so I think we'll count him. 41. Forty three. Okay, that was an interesting maneuver. But it's sort of understandable because if you're trying to make a left turn on from Augusta northwestbound onto Milwaukee, it's a little trickier to do it if you're coming from the eastbound bike lane. But, uh, you know, I think I'll take the high road and not count that. Okay. That's 44. Forty five, forty six.
49. Fifty one. No, we didn't give that other bicyclist to slightly bent the rules account, so why don't we even it out by counting that person? I think that's 53, but I will double check when I review the footage. I don't know, maybe I won't count him just so nobody can protest the count. So let's put it back at 52. minutes now 54 55 56 57 58 
360. Sixty one, nice right turn signal. Sixty two, sixty three. Four sixty five. All right, we are at forty three minutes. Sixty six, quite a crowd of bike riders on Milwaukee right now. All right, so at sixty six, we are already double what we got last week, and uh, we've only gone we've got less than three quarters of the time. Sixty seven. Sixty-nine seventy. Okay, we're at a little over forty-five minutes now. Seventy one. Is 
72. 73. It's entirely possible I will miss some bike riders too, but uh, I should be able to catch them through the footage. Seventy four, seventy five. Seventy six. Now, any of you watching this, any motorists watching this are probably thinking, you know, I'm seeing some bike riders who are not following the letter of the law, riding on the sidewalk or riding against traffic. I'm sure there is a lot of motorist misbehavior going on. I mean, for example, the car across the street, I think they are parked in a no parking zone. been paying attention to what people are doing at the red lights or anything. The motorist that is. Correctly, we're at 76. Uh, again, I will double check. Person was just riding the street in the uh, mixed traffic lanes. Just made a left turn south on Noble, and I can kind of understand the logic on that because you know if you come on Augusta for just a short time, and the only thing you're going to do is make a left turn, maybe it makes more sense to be in the mixed traffic lane than to be in the protected lane so you don't have to do more of a box turn. All right, 77, 78, 79, about 50 minutes now. Eighty-one. Everybody's crazy about a sharp-dressed cyclist. Okay, I think I said eighty-one.
Oh, here's one of the Elon Musk mobiles. Eighty three. Eighty four. Okay, we got about three minutes left.
85. Eighty six, got two minutes to go. And one more time, like my count is possibly not accurate, but I will double check it with the footage. With apologies to Shakira, video footage, don't lie. seconds to go 90 okay that's it so you know there are, I'm sure there were more I'm sure there were more motorists this time than there were last week but we had 90 bicyclists or scooter users compared to 33 last week. So uh, that's almost, you know, that's approaching three times as many. So we'll have to see how the percentages compare. All right, for anyone who watched this whole thing, thanks for watching. <laughs>